Nothing elicits true awe like breaking the laws of physics, but just know it's actually impossible. The laws of physics aren't anything like the laws of man, they simply cannot be broken. Whenever we see the laws of gravity and all its mystery, we're awed beyond belief and sometimes we can't possibly comprehend the whys and the hows of how gravity works. Rest assured, you're not losing your mind, we'll explain everything. Here are 15 places where gravity doesn't seem to work. Santa Cruz Mystery Spot At Santa Cruz's Mystery Spot, things are not what they seem. Balls roll uphill, chairs sit on walls and people lean over, yet they don't fall down. It's a natural phenomenon that cannot be described or explained. The Santa Cruz Mystery Spot, discovered in 1939, is centered around a mystery shack that appears to be falling over pulled down by the gravitational forces. Experts had theories as to why the mystery spot exists, but the explanations left room for the mystery to still baffle people. Speculation as to the cause includes cones of metal secretly buried in the ground by aliens, carbon dioxide permeating from the earth, a magma vortex. The truth is that the answer lies not in any paranormal force, but in the peculiarities of our own minds. The mystery spot is deprived of a horizon line, and the cabin built on a 20-degree tilt only adds to the strangeness. Even more curiously, when standing inside the Santa Cruz Mystery Spot's slanted cabin, the perpetual distortion literally doubles. So convincing are these perceptual tricks that people do in fact lose their balance, become disoriented, and feel ill within the walls of the Mystery Spot. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Mind-bending rock formations. Canada-born and Colorado-based artist and photographer Michael Grab loves to get stoned. Not like you think, however. He's a master of stone balancing, or is often referred to as a rock magician because it's hard to comprehend how he could have created his graceful works of balance art. He stumbled across the art in 2008 when he moved to Boulder, Colorado to go to college. Since that time, he's become a well-known artist, particularly for the rock work he's created in Boulder Creek. He's also achieved recognition throughout the U.S., as well as in Sweden, Scotland, Belgium, France, Germany, Italy, Croatia, Ukraine, and Canada. Much of his work is installed in remote natural settings such as near river or ocean shorelines and in other natural rocky settings he's balanced rocks on the shores of Loch Ness. Some work has also been installed in urban settings such as on street sidewalks. Grab often dissembles his work while leaving the site to close the cycle and also to adhere to the leave no trace principle of trail ethics or he knocks them down sometimes videographing them as they collapse. Fortunately, Grab's videos show the artist engage in the meditative process behind these works of art which require enormous amounts of patience and care. <laughs> Peanut Street, Brazil Peanut Street, as it's known to the locals, gets all sorts of attention from locals and tourists. Why? As a car is stopped without the emergency brake, it will slowly begin to roll uphill, gaining speed as it goes. Don't worry though, you're not losing your mind. However, people think some pretty strange stuff as to why the phenomenon exists. There are lots of folk explanations, including that the hill is haunted or that a massive deposit of iron ore lies beneath the street, drawing vehicles up to its magnetic pool. It attracts thousands of visitors every month who want to witness its curious optical illusion that makes people believe cars in neutral gear are rolling uphill. Some locals claim that this is a result of magnetism generated by the high quantity of minerals in the nearby Kuro Hills. And of course, there are always people who believe it's alien intervention. In reality, the phenomenon is apparently an optical illusion. Though the street appears to be on a steep incline, there's actually a slight dip in the road. Though cars appear to be rolling uphill, they're actually rolling down, and it thrills people to experience the strange optical illusion. Peanut Street is one of the most popular popular sites in Belo Horizonte in Brazil and the phenomenon is regularly filmed and posted online. <laughs> The Overton Bridge, located in Dumberton, Scotland, is a bridge that for some reason or another has caused dogs to leap to their deaths since the early 60s. Not only have the dogs been plummeting to their deaths from the bridge, but many have witnessed the animals actually climbing the parapet wall before making the jump. Even stranger are the reports of dogs surviving their brush with death only to return to the bridge for a second attempt. 
Some people believe it to be a gravitational anomaly, others believe it to be paranormal, others think that there's a strange scent that attracts dogs. In truth, it's almost certain that these dogs are not committing suicide, but rather something is luring them off the bridge before the dogs have time to realize the height. Animal behaviorists visited the bridge and concluded that dogs certainly weren't killing themselves on purpose, but they figured that most of the dogs that jump are long-nosed types with especially keen odor tracking skills, wild animal scent may be a trigger, and the dogs take matters into their own paws, but it's fair to say that the dogs just don't comprehend gravity like us humans do. <laughs> gravity Hill, Washington The mysterious Gravity Hill in Washington is a strange place. Here gravity seems to pull up instead of down. Pull your car up to the conveniently marked start line and it put it in neutral, then take your foot off the brake. Most cars would stay in place or simply roll downhill, but here, the cars begin to roll uphill until they reach the end line a little ways down the road. Most people say that this is an optical illusion and that the road merely appears to be sloping uphill while it's actually going downhill, but its elevation has been tested and the results prove that it is indeed an incline. Legend says that if you place a light dusting of baby powder on the trunk of your car at midnight before rolling up the hill, you'll arrive at your destination stunned to find a dozen tiny handprints on your car from the ghost of children children pushing you out of harm's way. In these mystery spots, what appears to be an uphill incline is actually part of a larger downhill incline, misinterpreted by our brains because of the way the slopes are situated mixed with little or no view of the horizon. So it looks as if objects are defying gravity, a natural illusion that's been tricking and wowing onlookers at these curious spots for centuries. <laughs> The Faroe Islands Reverse Waterfall Ever heard or seen what appears to be an upside-down tornado? In this video, this is the incredible moment where water flowed upwards after waves were caught in a rare sea vortex. The strange phenomenon was captured by locals out walking along the cliffs in the Faroe Islands when they spotted a whirlwind of water rising from the waves. People watched as the vortex of spray climbed up the side of the 1,500 feet sea cliff and billowed on the clifftop. Is it aliens draining valuable resources from our beautiful planet? Not exactly. Weather experts confirm that the upside-down tornado is a water spout, a spiraling pillar of air which forms like a tornado over the water when a cliff edge spins the wind in a circle. The weather over the area is unsettled with heavy showers and these ingredients together help form the water spouts. Water spouts are not common during unsettled weather but make spectacular videos and photos. This reverse waterfall is created by the perfect storm, so to speak. Conditions have to be perfect for a water spout to appear. <laughs> The Bremen Tower, Germany The Bremen Drop Tower in Germany is one of the tallest and best-known drop tower facilities in Europe. At the heart of the facility is the 480 feet high tower surrounded by support facilities that include control rooms, laboratories, and hardware workshops. The tower itself houses a steel tube from which air can be evacuated and accommodates all the technical components to accelerate, guide, and decelerate the capsule, a specially designed bus that's designed to be shockproof. Inside the concrete tower is a steel tube with an elevation of about 360 feet. Containers were initially dropped from this height so scientists could study the effects of microgravity. But with the addition of a catapult, the container is now tossed up into the air, accelerating at 30 times the rate of gravity, over 100 miles an hour within 0.2 seconds. Now microgravity occurs for just over 9 seconds. The container lands in an enormous pool of polystyrene grain to safely decelerate it for future use. These towers test the acceleration, deceleration forces pressurized to normal atmospheric pressure and temperature. The tower's main purpose is to test all things gravity in a safe, controlled environment. <laughs> Hoover Dam's Zero Gravity A visitor to the Hoover Dam in Nevada has shown how strong the wind coming up the structure is when they stood at the top of the wall tipping a water bottle over the side. To their amazement, the water flows upwards instead of down due to the powerful updraft. The structure of the dam creates an upward draft that makes water actually defy gravity. Instead of traveling downwards, it's carried upwards by the wind. The dam is located near Boulder City, Nevada, a municipality originally constructed for workers on the construction project about 30 miles southeast of Los Vegas. The dam's generators provide
provide power for public and private utilities in Nevada, Arizona, and California. Hoover Dam is a major tourist attraction. Nearly a million people tour the dam each year. In Black Canyon, more than 5 million barrels of cement was required to build the dam, which stands over 700 feet tall. A whopping 3.25 million cubic yards of concrete was used for the dam itself, plus another 1.11 million cubic yards for the power plant and additional facilities. The quantity of concrete would be enough to build 3,000 miles of road, a full-sized highway from one end of the United States to the other. So it's no wonder the massive dam creates gravity-defying drafts. <laughs> Mount Aragats, Armenia it seems like in Mount Aragats in Armenia, the laws of gravity decided to disappear. Here, the water in the river flows from the bottom to the top. When you put the car in neutral, it automatically goes uphill without any driver. If you put a bottle on the ground, it will again roll uphill. Walking up the hill feels easier than walking down. It's located on the highway leading to the 7th century fortress Ambert at an altitude over 6,500 feet above sea level. There are many guesses and theories about the mystery of it, what's happening in this place, and how is it even possible? Some people think that this is a deformation of the gravitational field, while others think that there are some special magnetic fields at play. Some even tend to believe in the existence of aliens and the landing of UFOs in this area. And some people have a simpler explanation, an optical illusion due to the absence of the horizon. Whatever is happening here, it attracts many people, and each one of them has an unusual experience. Mount Aragats is one of Armenia's most popular tourist attractions. <laughs> Death Valley Sailing Stones Death Valley National Park is an iconic and unforgiving landscape. Famously known for being the hottest place on Earth, it also sits at the driest and lowest elevation in North America between California and Nevada. But perhaps its strangest feature of all is the mysterious racetrack playa, where rocks drift across the flat desert landscape, seemingly defying gravity. Known as sailing stones, the rocks vary in size from a few ounces to hundreds of pounds, though no one has ever seen them actually move in person. The trails left behind the stones and periodic changes in their location make it clear that they are, in fact, moving across the playa. In 2014, scientists were able to capture the movement of the stones for the first time using time-lapse photography. The results strongly suggest that the sailing stones are because of a perfect balance of ice, water, and wind, and when they move, the sailing stones can leave behind trails as long as 1,500 feet, and once a 700-pound block they named Karen, which didn't move at all while being studied, was entirely missing when researchers returned years later. It was over a half mile from the survey site. <laughs> India's Magnetic Hill the mysterious magnetic hill in India is one of the most popular attractions in the region, but you won't know what's up or down when you visit. At this place, cars move with a speed of 10 to 20 miles even on a neutral gear. It's believed that some magnetic forces make this happen. This might be termed as a result of gravitational force. Whatever it may be, it excites tourists to a great extent. Villagers residing nearby believe that there once existed a road that led people to heaven. Those who rightly deserved were pulled to the path directly, while those who didn't deserve could never make it there. Another widely accepted theory says that the hill is no source of magnetic force, rather it's just an optical illusion that makes the downslope of the road leading to the hill look like an upslope. So when you see the vehicle going uphill, it's actually going downhill. Magnetic Hill only adds to the beauty of the region, and is certainly a thrill to adventurous travelers. Perched at an altitude of 14,000 feet, Magnetic Hill is one of the most intriguing spots in the country. It's best to visit between May to September, when the road is easily accessible. There's a board that marks the location of Magnetic Hill so it cannot be missed while driving down the highway. <laughs> Scotland's Electric Bray Named the Electric Bray Scottish Victorians, this cliffside road was thought to be pulled by the electricity of the offshore island of Erin because when you think you're going up, you're actually going down and vice versa. Locals have spent years throwing around outlandish explanations for the road's mysterious incline, including a buried chain of powerful magnets, minerals in the rich coastal soil, misbehaving gravity, and outlandish suggestions that Bray was hunted by witches from a time long ago. Fortunately, there's a much simpler explanation, taking in the wider surroundings surrounding area by using the horizon line, it's possible to see the top of the apparent uphill slope is actually at the bottom of the hill. In the context of the immediate surrounding area, the optical illusion is formed due to the entire landmass being on a slope. Over half a mile, it's easy for the brain and eyes to miss a rise of 17 feet, 
but it's enough to make cars, bottles, and balls roll, mistaken for uphill. Many unusual things were attributed to mysterious electrical properties. The term electric dates from a time when it was incorrectly thought to be a phenomenon caused by electric or magnetic attraction. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spook Hill, Florida Spook Hill is a long-promoted, gravity-defying hill in Lake Wales, Florida, where you can park your car at the bottom and it will roll up. There's a large sign on North Wales Drive explaining the legend and how to best experience the effect. Apparently, many years ago, an Indian village on Lake Wales was plagued by a huge alligator. The chief, a great warrior, killed the gator in a battle that created a small lake. The chief was buried on the north side. Pioneers first discovered their horses laboring downhill, thus naming it Spook Hill. When the road was paved, cars coast uphill. It's been mentioned in all kinds of publications. It's such a popular place for curiosity seekers that the city of Lake Wales has put up little brown direction signs all over town so you can find the mysterious hill. Spook Hill is located on the Lake Wales Ridge, a geologically significant range of sand and limestone hills, which were islands from two to three million years ago, when sea levels were much higher than at present. Not only is Spook Hill one of the country's oldest known gravity hills, it's also the only known magnetic hill in the state of Florida. In April of 2019, Spook Hill was added in the National Register of Historic Places. <laughs> South Dakota's Cosmos Mystery in Rapid City, South Dakota, a place where the laws of nature seem to have gone completely crazy, but of course haven't, in 1952, two college boys searched the Black Hills looking for the perfect spot to build a summer cabin. Upon their search, they stumbled into the mysterious world of the cosmos. The old cabin areas especially piqued their interest as the laws of logic and physics seemed to be turned upside down. They continued to experiment and develop the demonstrations until they eventually opened their discovery to the public in 1953. And since then, the Cosmos Mystery Area has become a favorite haunt for family and tourists worldwide. Deprived of a horizon and given misleading cues, like a cabin built on a 20-degree tilt, Cosmos visitors' brains can make some surprising mistakes. Even more curiously, when our bodies are put in an angle, as happens when standing inside the Cosmos Mystery Spot's slanted identical cabins, the perceptual distortion goes off the charts, increasing these odd illusions even more. Myanmar's Golden Boulder Resting atop Mount Kyaktio is one of the three most sacred religious sites in Myanmar, the Kyaktio Pagoda, or the more common Golden Boulder. The pagoda stands 24 feet tall, but it's the boulder that gets everyone's attention. Massive and unbelievably heavy, the boulder rests on the edge of a cliff with more than half of its surface leaning over open air. There's a common belief amongst Buddhists in the area that if you complete the pilgrimage to the Golden Boulder three times in one year, you'll be blessed with great fortune. As such, thousands make the journey each year. The boulder has become sacred among Buddhists because legend has it that the boulder remains in place because it's perfectly balanced on a strand of Buddhist hair. It's said that one of the many visits, Buddha gave a strand of his hair to a hermit. The hermit gave the hair to the king, asking that it be enshrined in a boulder. With a little mystical help, the king found a place for the hair on top of the mountain, and there the hair and the boulder remained. Mm -hmm.